So the most awaited exam of this Gohati High Court is over now and surprisingly we all found that the board has completely changed the syllabus. They had not followed the syllabus what uh, they had given in the advertisement. If you are aware of the notification, so in the advertisement and in the notification the syllabus was given like uh, English will be of 50 marks okay but uh, in practice here what surprisingly we found today is uh, that the only 30 questions were from English section and uh, the general awareness section had the predominant position today okay 60 marks were asked from that and the G yeah and one more thing is in the GK section okay in the GK section they have asked questions which were a bit of higher level okay and the vocabularies they have used in the English section you will find they just used those vocabularies which are very uncommon okay or very I don't know what is the logic behind this but if you agree then you also comment me below uh, what was your experience okay after giving the exam we will discuss the English questions here okay so from question number one to five uh, here it is written choose the correct option out of the four choices given below so the first one is give an example pertinent dash the case so here the correct preposition okay we have to choose the preposition so the preposition followed by uh, pertinent is two okay so give an example pertinent to the case so option number d will be the right answer here okay and pertinent means uh, anything that is appropriate okay that is appropriate to something okay next is uh, the reward was not commensurate that's the work done by us so commensurate is always followed by with or to okay so here in the options uh, uh, to is not given so we'll tick on with okay that is in option number c so the reward was not commensurate with the work done by us okay so this word commensurate means equivalent okay equivalent or importance kind of thing or quality okay so the reward was not according to the quality or according to the importance to the work done by us okay that kind of thing so option number c is the right answer here next is your conduct smacks this recklessness so here the right answer will be smacks of okay so your conduct smacks of recklessness so here the meaning of smack means uh, smack means uh, to slap okay or to hit somebody for punishing him okay that kind of thing or we can say slap okay recklessness means carelessness so here the option number a will be right answer that is off okay next a good judge never grops that's the conclusion so here the right answer will be for option number d is the right answer a good judge never grops for the conclusion and the meaning of grop is uh, to search something or, or to find something for, for supporting yourself okay that is called grops okay the last one is religious leaders should not delve this politics okay so here the right answer will be religious leaders should not delve into politics and the meaning of delve is to search something inside okay like searching something inside a bag okay that is called delve next uh, from question number six to ten we have to choose the correctly spelled word okay so we have to choose the correct spellings okay so here in question number six it is called gratuitous so gratuitous the correct spelling will be option number a that is g r a t u i t o u s okay gratuitous so the meaning of gratuitous is or something that is unnecessary unwanted unnecessary that is called gratuitous okay the next is moratorium so the right spelling for moratorium will be m o r a t o r i u m okay so moratorium option number c is the right answer here okay and the meaning of moratorium is uh, to delay something okay uh, that is temporarily delay something for a period of time uh, that is mostly used in case of legal situations okay so to delay something uh, legally temporarily for a period of time till the next hearing okay that is called moratorium then uh, next is acquaintance so the right spelling for acquaintance will be s e q u 
A I N T A N C E. Okay, T A N C E. That is acquaintance. So the right option will be option number C, and the meaning of acquaintance will be uh, a person who is known to you, but uh, he is not so close to you. Okay, so he will be called acquaintance. Okay, next word is onomatopoeia. So the right spelling will be uh, O N O. M A T O P O E I A. Okay. So option number C will be the right answer here. The correct spelling is this one. Uh, the meaning of the onomatopoeia is uh, onomatopoeia is a word uh, that is used to describe a sound. Okay. Like uh, what to say? Like the sound of the gargling. Okay. When we do gargle, that there, there is one kind of sound. Then uh, the machine sound. Okay. When whenever we use a machine, uh, so the particular sound of that machine, then the sound like hiss. Okay. Then boom. Okay. All these kind of sounds are described uh, by this word uh, onomatopoeia. Okay. Then next is uh, remuneration. So the this is common. Uh, remuneration means a salary or payment made to somebody for doing something. So the correct spelling will be R E M U N. E R A T I O N okay, R E M U N E R A T I O N remuneration. So option number B is the right answer here. Next, from question number eleven to fifteen, again we have to choose the correct prepositions. Okay, uh, here it is given. Fill up the sentences with correct prepositions from below. Question number eleven. He died dash overeating. Okay, so this is common one. So he died from overeating. Okay, and died of is used when the cause of death is given direct. Like uh, he died of cancer. He died of uh, jaundice. Okay, like that. But uh, he died from accident. He died from overeating. Okay, he died from starving. Okay, when the reason for dying will be uh, except diseases. Okay, we'll use died from. Next is her dress was made dash silk. So this will be made of. Okay, the silk. Okay, that will not change the texture or the physical. Quality of the silk. Okay, if we make one dress from that, so in that cases, made of will be used. Okay, so here option number C is the right answer. But remember, when something is made from a material and the physical of uh, and the physical shape and the quality of the material completely changes, in that cases, we'll use made from. Okay, like uh, what to say? Like curd is made from milk. Okay, so milk is. A different liquid thing, but uh, when the curd is prepared, so milk will change its shape. Okay, so the physical quality or the shape of the material completely changes when uh, curd is made from uh, milk. Okay, similarly, wine is made from grapes. Okay, so made from will be that one. Next, the teacher was pleased that the boy's progress. So. Uh, the teacher is pleased with the boy's progress. Okay, so the pleased is the word mainly followed by two prepositions, to and with. Okay, so we use uh, pleased to to describe uh, the happiness uh, when we get for a person or to mean for a person. Okay, like I am very pleased to see you. I am very pleased to meet you. I am very pleased to have you. Okay, in that kind of situation. So when we refer a person. to be the cause of our pleasure so in that case we will use pleased to but when uh, the reason is except person any other reasons so in that cases we will use pleased with okay so the teacher was pleased with the boy's progress so here the teacher was not pleased with the boy the teacher was pleased with the boy's progress okay so the progress of the boy has pleased the teacher okay so therefore here the right answer will be option number b there is with pleased with yeah Next one is we are sorry dash your misfortune. So here are the options. Sorry is uh, in most of the cases followed by for okay, but here since for is not available, so we'll go with option number C about okay. We are sorry about your misfortune. That will be the correct one. Then last one is he was quickly cured dash his cold. So he was quickly cured of his cold. So recovering from illness uh, that will be called cured of. So he was quickly cured of his cold. So these were the questions I have collected from various sources. One passage was there, and ten questions were based on that passage. So we'll discuss that in another video. And uh, four to five questions were asked from synonyms. Okay. So I still haven't got that. So whenever I'll get that, I'll discuss these two with you.